Hello? Yeah, can you hear me now, Mr. Day? Oh, uh, yeah, I can hear you. Who's calling, please? My name is David Washington. I am with Publishers Claire and House, okay? Uh, David Washington? Yeah, and I'm calling you from Publishers Claire and House, okay? Well, okay. Are you having some sort of a rummage sale or something? I don't understand. What is a clearing? What, what are we doing? Publishers Clearing House, you had won the sweepstakes in our sweepstakes raffle, where you had won yourself two point nine million dollars. Okay. Oh, uh, I didn't order any sweepstakes. Are you sure you've got the right number? I don't order. I I don't think I entered a sweepstakes. Man, it's like the fourth time this guy has called me in the last couple of weeks. He'll be calling back. Hello? Hello, good day to you. How are you doing, Mr. Fano? Uh, I'm good. Uh, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. It's a pleasure to know that you're doing okay. Okay. Do you, reckon, do you recognize who you're speaking with today? Oh, hang on. I got, an, I got another call coming in. Let me get rid of this. This one looks like, I don't know what it is. It's, hold on here. Are you still there? I'm here, I'm here. Okay, now who's calling, please? My name is Mr. Reverend Mike Anderson, contacting you from the PCH company, which is the Publishing Clearing House. You said you're Reverend Mike Anderson from Publishers Clearing House? Yeah, that's what I say. How oh. are you doing once more, sir? I'm good, Reverend uh, Anderson. Uh, what's this? What, what can I do for you? Did you receive a letter of notification that I have sent to you in the mail from the company, sir? Uh, no, I didn't get anything in the mail about, uh, from where did you say you were from? Uh, Portland, Portland Clearing Houses? What? Portland Clearing House or something? No, Publishing Clearing House. Publishing? Okay. I didn't write a book or anything. What's this all about? Alrighty, we're contacting you to let you know. Congratulations to you, sir. You have rightfully won yourself a $3.5 million in a brand new car. What? Oh, stop it. That's crazy. How did I win three, how did, what? Three and a half million dollars in a car? Bruh. Hello? Yes, sir. Good day. How are you doing? I'm um, doing good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. My name is Dave Sawyer, and I'm calling you from the American Cash Award Company. And are you familiar with your company? No, uh, your phone's a little bit muffled, too. I'm having a hard time. What did you say your name was? Dave Sawyer calling you from the American Cash Award Company. American oh, Cash you know, Award? Company. What's the American Cash yeah. Award Company? It's Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, and what did you say your name was? Dave Sawyer. Dave Sawyer? Yes, sir. Okay, what can I do for you, Dave? I'm calling you regarding to order certified this year a strike, which you have won from our company at a two and a half million, which you're going to be receiving today. Okay. Well, that sounds fine. And this is your first, what? And this, is your, and this is your first time you have been receiving a call from our company? I've never heard of your company. I've heard of Las Vegas, though. Okay, and are you interested in receiving your price package? Yeah. Yeah, I could. Re I guess so. How much? What did you say it was? Fifteen hundred bucks or something? How did I win this fifteen hundred bucks? Yeah. yeah. Last time he called me, he said he was William Cooper. I'm working on that video right now. I guess we'll have to add this one to it. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. My name is William Cooper, and I'm calling you from the Publishers 
clearing house, okay? Okay, William. Uh, Cooper, what's this all about? Well, the reason why I'm calling you have won yourself $5 million and a brand new car. Okay. How are you feeling as a lucky winner today? $5 million and a brand new car? Yes, sir. How did I How win? Feeling How did I win five million dollars in a brand new car? I don't remember entering any sweepstakes. By paying your utility bills on time. Oh. Your utility. Yes, your utility company sent down your information. They signed me up for the publisher's clearinghouse. Okay, I didn't know the utility company signed you up for the publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes. Say, I, I've been late on my utility yes. pay payment a couple of times. Um, I've been late a couple times. Are you sure you got the right person? Yes, yes, I got the right person. Okay. And you are the lucky winner of $5 million. Uh -oh. You don't want to claim your prize, sir? Well, I just want to make sure it's really for me and not some other some other person, you know. Aren't you the person that owned this phone? Yeah. Yes, and we're calling your telephone number. You're the oh. winner here. Okay. Well, all right then, uh, William Cooper. Uh, okay. What kind of car did I win? Mercedes Benz. Okay? Oh, oh, okay. I thought it'd just be a Toyota Corolla or something. Uh, you know, even a used Toyota Corolla would be fine, uh, William. Okay, so would you be able to take care of your processing fee so we could have your prize delivered? Uh, well, I guess so. Otherwise, I can just probably stop down and pick it up. I've got the next couple of days off. Where, where, uh, where would I have to come and pick it up? <laughs> yeah, um, am I speaking to Mr. Howard? Yeah, my name is Howard Ding. Middle initial is U. Who, Pardon? Who's calling, please? You're speaking with Benjamin. Are you still living at Chicago, Illinois? Zip code 6. It's not six zero six zero six zero four. It's six zero six zero four, Benjamin. No. Okay. And you are sixty-five age years old. No, no, no. I'm sixty-six, Benjamin. Say, who who are you with, Benjamin? Why are you calling? What's this all about? Have I have I won something? Did I win a sweepstakes or something? What? We're supposed to be conducting a delivery to you. Oh. Aren't you notified about this? Delivery? That's correct. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds fine. Yeah, whatever it is, just bring it over. It has to be processed first. Oh. So that's why I'm calling you. Weren't you notified about this? Uh, no, this is the first I've heard about it. What What's to be delivered, uh, Benjamin? A certified cashier's check. Oh, you're delivering a check? Okay, well, that's fine. Yeah, just send it over. It has, listen, as I mentioned, it has to be processed first. Oh. Stop acting like you're dumb. What? That's I the... told you that it has to be processed first. Yeah, Stop there's no like reason. That's not nice to say, Benjamin. Mr. Ding, are you playing with me? If you're not interested for us to conduct this delivery, let me know. Why would I be playing with you? My name is Howard U. Ding. You called me and you said you had a delivery. What? What's the problem, Benjamin? Is everything okay? Oh. Are you all right? Are you familiar with the U.S. Mega Millions, Mr. Ding? Uh, the U.S. Mega Millions, I've heard of it, yes. Okay. Are you familiar with their monthly raffle? Amount few apples? They're monthly apples. Uh, no, I didn't know they had monthly apples, no. No, okay. So whenever you, you shop at any one of the local grocery stores, like the Walmart, the Walgreens, the Target, the Cougar, or the Dollar General, 
you gain points. Or okay. Well, I've used some of those, but I don't know what cougar is. I mean, I know what cougars are, but I've never shot. I didn't know you could shop for them. You can shop there. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that one. Okay, so whenever you shop at those stores, you gain points. Oh. So that's how you were entered in the U.S. Mega Millions, Monty Raffle, for being an outstanding citizen. Oh. I do feel as though I'm an outstanding citizen, I guess. No one's ever said that to me before, though. You are, Mr. Howard. And at this time, do you have an email address where I could resend you a nine-page copy of your notification? Yeah, you can You can send me an email. Okay, what's your email address? It's Howard. All lower key, right? Uh, you can make them uppercase or lowercase, I think. I don't know. I don't I don't email myself uh, very much. So that's Howard. And then my middle initial is U. Ding. And my last name is Ding. It's Howard U. Ding. I'm asking for your email address. Do I'm, you know what email address is? I'm giving you my email address, Jeremy. It's Howard U. Ding at, D, at the Yamail. At yahoo.com? Yeah, yahoo.com, the mail one. Not the Gmail, but the Yahoo mail. Okay, it's yahoo.com. So it's Howard, you ding, at yahoo.com? That's right, Jeremy. It's Benjamin. Oh, Benjamin. Sorry, uh, Jeremy, Benjamin. Sorry about that. I should have wrote that okay. down. Okay. Do you want to write down my badge number and the tracking number for your package and so on? Uh, let me see if I can find a pen. See if you can find a pen. I have a pen right here. Uh, Do you have a paper? Pan and pepper. Okay. Paper. Yeah, right here. Okay, your name again? It's Benjamin Augustus. Benjamin... A Gustus. A Gustus. G U S T A S. Gustus. And uh, what's your batch number? My batch number is 411. Okay. And the tracking number on your package, as I'm seeing here, is X O D 1. Okay. Eight seven six. Eight seven six. T one. Mm hmm. D three five seven. D three five seven. Six four one. Six four one. Okay. What do you have there? Because as I mentioned, this is the tracking number on your package. So it's very important. Yeah, it's important. I got uh, uh, X O D I eight seven six seven one D three five seven six four one. Benjamin. Okay, that's that's correct. Okay. But X O D one. It's not I. It's one. Oh. X O D one. Got it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Right. So what I'm gonna do here now, I'm gonna have your winners and take form filled out to see if you are legally qualified for us to conduct this delivery. Okay. Well, you said I was an outstanding citizen, so I don't think there'll be any problem with that. Okay, great. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's just a few questions. Okay. Alright, so the first question here is, I know that you are a United States citizen. The first question says, says if you are a United States citizen by birth or by marriage. Well, you are by birth, correct? I, I'm a United States citizen by birth, that's correct. Okay, great. And do you have a valid identification card? An island vacation card? A valid identification card. Oh. Government issued identification. Uh, just the driver's license is all. Okay, that will do. 
And do you walk, do you drive, or do you take the bus? Do I drive or do I take the bus? Well, most of the time I drive, but sometimes I take the bus. What why, What kind of question is that for getting a delivery? for? Uh... I'm, just, I'm just asking. Basically, if you are abled or disabled, Oh, well, you didn't say that. And then two disabled people can drive, too. I can drive, uh, and I'm not disabled. Okay. And currently, who do you bank with? Who do I bank with? Yeah. Well, I got two accounts. I have a chicken account at KFC, and then I'm with the West Wisconsin uh, Credit Union in oh, West Wisconsin. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, which does it matter? Because like the chicken account at KFC, I pretty much just use that to go out to eat. Okay. The reason why I'm asking is because we're supposed to be making a transfer for you, for you to get a requirement from the government. The government now requires a certain document listed as the stamp of approval whenever you are accepting over one million in the United States. Okay. So we're supposed to be making a transfer to you for you to get that document. Okay, see. how much money am I getting? Am I getting over a million? Pardon? Am I getting over a million? You said that you needed some stuff if it was over a million dollars. Is my transfer over a million dollars? No, um, the check that you're supposed to be receiving uh -huh. is $1.2 million. $1.2 million? You're going to send me a check for $1.2 million and you just now tell me now, it's Jacob, it's jo going Joseph? To be hand delivered. It's what? Going to be hand delivered. So. Um, well, don't you I think maybe you should have told me that earlier? $1.2 million is a lot of money, and you waited. We've been on the phone for like 10 minutes or something, and now you, I mean, I was just thinking it's just going to be a few hundred bucks, you know, to go shopping at Cougars or whatever. But uh, you're telling me you're going to bring me a check for $1.2 million? Um, didn't you receive the notification? No, I already told you I didn't receive any notification. Are you sure you got the right person? Because it'd be terrible if there was some other Howard U. Ding you were supposed to be delivering to, not me. Oh, I'd be heartbroken. Yeah, what? You are the rightful owner here. Oh, good God, uh, Jeremy, uh, Benjamin. Um, you, I just about had a heart attack. Uh, uh, okay, well, if you say I'm supposed to get $1.2 million, well, that's fine. What do we have yeah, to do? So when are you when are you bringing it? Have, what? That's why I'm trying to have everything processed so a delivery date can oh. be scheduled. Oh, right. well, yeah, process away, Benjamin. The process, uh, the process. Okay. And do you think that your your bank will have any problems if I transfer fifteen thousand today? Um, banks, I don't think they ever have problems with you want to transfer money in. I guess I don't know. I'd have to ask them, but I wouldn't think so. I think people transfer money in the bank all the time, don't they? No. No? Right. Some, what? Some banks have a daily limit. Some uh, banks have a limit. Oh. That's why I'm asking. I don't know. I'd have to call my bank. My banker's no, name is Jake. Yeah, Jake, not from State Farm, but uh, Jake. Um, I could call him if you want me to. Okay, all right. I'm gonna have your. I'm gonna finish having your winners in tape form filled out. It's just two more questions remaining. Okay. Okay. Oh. All right. So the next question here is: Do you have any outstanding loans? Outstanding loans? Well, yeah. I got. Uh, I owe a little bit on the house yet. Okay. So you have an outstanding mortgage of how much? Well, I don't know the exact number, Benjamin. Uh, I'd have to look it up. We could call, you know, I, who keeps that kind of uh, information on hand? Um, again, I'd have to call my I banker, just Jake. Asking. I just was, I'm just asking. Oh. Um, at least you know that you have um, an outstanding mortgage. Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. And that's the only outstanding loan that you have, correct? Yeah, I think so. I don't have a car loan or anything like that. Okay, mate. I owe my ex-wife a lot of money, but that's totally different. That was just, you know, because of her her attorney. My my ex-wife's attorney is absolute barracuda. The woman is dangerous. Stay away from those people. 
So I owe her basically half of the money that I'll earn for, for the rest of my life, but that's totally different. You guys got a divorce and she wanted to took everything? Yeah, yeah. Good thing that I got divorced though before this 1.2 million came in because she won't get any of that then. That's, that's really messed up. I had a situation like that. But yeah. Because my, my ex baby mother, she no longer works. I got 100% custody of my daughter. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah. You know, you can. If she's not working and you're gainfully employed, well, then yeah, you should have. You should have custody of the child. I would think, since you're working. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> but um, that's really messed up. Yeah, it's so messed are you up. Still older? Huh? Are you still older? What? Are you still older? Well, there's just money on earnings, you know, for the rest of my life. But that's been set. Those numbers are set. So I don't think she'll get any of this 1.2 million. Um, yeah, this is yeah, yeah, she's been trying to, she's been trying to run me over with the car and stuff like that, so I had to move to Chicago. I didn't realize it, but even back 10 years ago, she, she did actually run me over with a golf cart one time, um, and I wow. think she, I'm, now I'm realizing she was doing this on purpose, you know, always hitting me with a spoon, always hitting me with a big wooden spoon, you know, claiming that she loved me the whole time, I can't. Anyway, she's not getting her hands on this 1.2 million, as far as I know, unless her crazy barracuda lawyer comes after me again with a gun. And then otherwise, that this is my money, I think, right? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, it's fine, Benjamin. These things happen. I understand, but um, I'm really sorry to hear that your wife. <laughs> Well, you know, it's just a wooden spoon. It wasn't like a metal spoon or anything. Still wasn't very fun, but that's fine. We're why we're apart now. So we're apart now. What? Why didn't you man up? Why didn't I man up? You think I want to go to prison for the rest of my life? I'm supposed to call the police and say my wife hits me with a wooden spoon? No, listen. I I'm not saying that you should beat her, but you could hold her and shake her two times. No, no. No, 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 Benjamin. Benjamin, you cannot grab women by the throat and shake them two times. That's absolutely unacceptable. No, 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 no. You listen to me and you listen good. If I ever hear you grab a woman and shake her, I'll come find you and knock the shit out of you. Are you out of your mind? You do not lay your hands on a woman. You are an idiot. You don't hold a woman. You don't ever shake her. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. Look, she tried to run me over with the car fair and square. I called the police. We got a divorce. She gets her money. I get my money. We're, it's all it's done. I don't have to beat on a woman, Benjamin. You know what what the hell is the matter with you? You're a nutcase, man. Where's this? No, uh, so anyway, what's what's up with this 1.2? Huh? Man, you're telling me to man up? You're telling me to man up? You don't know your ass from a hole in the ground. How can you tell me to man up? You are an idiot and an asshole. I never beat my wife before. I never did that. You're gonna just well, what? Just You're just gonna start. That's okay for me to do it though. Come on, dude. What are you even talking about? I Don't you remember? You already that. found out I was an outstanding she hit citizen. You, bro. She hit you, buddy. She, she hit me you. with a spoon and tried to run me over with a car and a golf cart. She's a terrible driver though, so she's you know I can easily jump out of the way. Okay. So it wasn't that bad. I thought you run, you were over and you were even in the hospital. Well, she ran me over with a golf cart, but she hit me with a golf cart. Shit, that was like what, once a month, you know? But I just didn't realize she was doing it on purpose, you know? She'd always be like, whoops, you know, I didn't mean it. But, you know, she only actually ran me over like two or three times. You, Mr. What? I'm sorry, I thought that she was abusing you. Well, look, man. It's all good. You know, our relationship ran its course, and I've moved on, okay? Yeah, that's the right way. Right. So back to process. Yeah. Back to process. Yeah. All right, so um, the last question here is, have you ever been convicted of a criminal act before? No. Okay, great. Very outstanding. Yeah. Okay. okay. Any of that? So that's all, all right. the questions. This is great. When are you going to stop by uh, with this uh, cashier's check then? And is it you going right. to bring it or somebody so, um, else? 
I'm going I'm going I'm going to the last step of processing now. Okay. So um, as I mentioned we're supposed to be making the transfer to you for you to get that document from, mm. from the government. You're going to be uh, getting your stamp of the approval. Oh. Uh, okay. 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 Oh, yeah. So um that's why I was asking if I could make the transfer to your bank. So which um which bank would you like me to um get the transfer started to? Well, how much money are you planning to transfer? Fifteen thousand. Hmm. Well that seems like a lot to go in my chicken account at KFC. Even with their eleven herbs and spices, I think fifteen thousand dollars is too much for that account. So I think we should put that money into the Wisconsin, uh, the Wisconsin Credit Union account instead. Okay, so send seven thousand five hundred in one and seven thousand five hundred in the other. Well, no, just put it all in the Wisconsin Credit Union one. We don't need to put any money in my KFC chicken account. There's already okay. enough money in there to go out to eat. Okay, no, no, okay, no problem. Do you have a debit card with that bank? Uh, yeah, I got one somewhere. A debit card, yeah, I do. Okay. And do you know how to take photos? Do I know how, how to take photos? Yeah, that's correct. Well, yeah, I know how to take photos, I guess. My camera's upstairs, though. Oh, your camera. Oh, you don't have a mobile device? I have a mobile device. You mean like my car? No, like a, a phone, a mobile phone. Oh, yeah, I have a mobile phone. We're actually talking on the phone right right now, Benjamin. Okay, so have, have you ever sent a photo to someone before? A sent a photo? Well, yes, see, back in the day, the things are different now with these. You're talking about using the, fan, the, the camera right on my phone. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Yeah, I've yeah, tried to do that here. before, but usually when I try to take a picture, I hang up on whoever I'm talking to. So could I hang up and then take a picture and send it to you? Okay, so um, you, you're, okay, so what I need for you to do, you're going to take a photo of the, of the back and front of your driver's license yeah. and your debit card. Uh, do you think you could get that done? I think so. I could try, but look, if I hang up on you, I feel just terrible. I tried to send Trixie. Trixie's my old lady, you know, and she's always off at the casino playing back rack and keno and whatnot. And I tried to send her a picture one time of what her cat was doing, and I, I was on the phone with her. I took the picture, and I hung up on her, and she was so mad at me. She won't even answer the phone anymore when I call if she's at the casino. She just won't even tolerate that sort of behavior at all. So I know that I have to be very careful when I'm trying to take pictures with my phone. And then the other thing is I used to have a camera a long time ago that you could make calls on, but that was different because that was a camera, not a phone. Okay, I understand. Yeah. All right, so um, do you have the card the card in your possession? What card? The when, with, when, Wisconsin Bank card. Wisconsin Credit Union debit card? Yes, yeah, that's I, correct. Yeah, I got it. Do you have it in your possession? Well, of course it's in my possession. Who else okay. is going to possess it? If it was in was if it's my card and it's in somebody else's possession, then it's not my card anymore. It's their card because they'd be possessing it. I have it. Lovely. What? That's lovely. That's lovely. Lovely? Okay, so um lovely. Okay, so do you see um a 16 digit number on the front of your card? You mean the card number? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, I can see the card number. Okay, so go with the 16 digits. Yeah. Four digits at a time. Yeah. What about them? I said go with the 16 digits, four digits go, at a time. Go for, go for digits? Go for, go with? You want, you want me to read the number out? Yes, that's correct. Four digits at a time. Yeah. I'm going to have... I'm going to see if I can have the transfer started today. Oh. Because it usually takes yeah. one, two, three business yeah. days. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, well, if you're ready, I'll read it off to you. I don't know. I was ready to read it off kind of a while ago. I've actually had it in my hand for a few minutes I'm now. I have, I have my file loaded up. File loaded up? Okay. What, are, what is that noise? It sounds like you're sharpening a pencil or something. What was that? Are you making a sandwich? What was all that noise? No. It's, it's my keyboard. I'm oh. Everything loaded oh, up. that's just a keyboard. It didn't sound like a keyboard. It sounded like you're eating the keyboard for lunch or something like this. Very loud. Anyway, are you ready? Um, well, yeah, I'm ready. I'm Go excited. Ahead. I'm sorry, Benjamin. I'm all wound up. I've never had $1.2 million before. So it's, you, you can imagine this. I'm sure you deal with something like this every day. Yeah, this is 100% of it. I want to go ahead and get the transfer started. All right, well, my my da my debit card number is 4123. Good Lord, what are you what are you pressing those buttons with a hammer? No, I'm sorry that they're so loud. Wow. I'm going, I'm going, to, I'm going to Yeah, I'm going to Go ahead, I'm hearing you. 4567. 4567. 8910. 10. No, no, 8910. Yes, that's what I have. OK, well, you didn't say it. You just said the one zero. How am I supposed to know what you're doing? If you put all this $15 million in someone else's account, then what? I'm sorry. I want to get. What are we doing? Oh, huh? Pardon? This is not your card number. Okay. What I need for you to do. It didn't um, get you the whole number yet. Listen. Listen. I am I listening. What? Pardon? I said I am listening. I'm... Okay. All right, so what I need for you to do, Mr. Howard, yeah. at the bottom of your screen, what are you seeing now? On what? At the bottom of your screen, what are you seeing? What screen are you talking about? I'm not even watching your TV. Phone, your phone, the phone that I'm speaking to you on, buddy. I'm looking, my phone just has my normal phone on it. It's my phone. It's got a picture of a like a hill and a bucket on the hill. It's, it's what the picture that came with the phone. Okay, so turn, open the phone. Open the phone? Yes, get your phone open. Uh, you don't mean take it apart and open it to get the battery out or something. You, uh, that would that would shut off. Okay, you mean just to get open into the into the thing, into the screen? The screen is open. Uh, I got the screen open. What are we doing? Okay, all right. So, um, are you seeing the num? Are you seeing the call? Seeing the what? What are you seeing on your screen? I'm seeing the call, just like you said. Okay, alright. I just wanted to know. Okay, so go ahead with the card again. Well, I never gave you all the numbers in the first place. I only gave you, uh, like, most of them. You never even asked for the, for the last four digits. Do you want just the last four digits? No, go ahead and back over with everything. Okay, and so do you want the last four digits then, or just the first first 12? No, the whole 16. Okay. Four digits at eight times. I, yeah, that's what you said before, but we didn't, when we got to the end, you didn't even want them. So, okay, it's 4123. Okay. 4567. Okay. 8910. Okay. One 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 two. And that's okay. Yeah. And turn the card around. Yeah. You're supposed to see three digits there. Yeah. What's the three digits listed there? Two three four. Two three four. Yeah. And what's the expiration date? The expiration date is one two two four. One two four. No, one two two four. Twelve of twenty four. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's in December, okay. Okay. 
And you said you have a checking account? Yeah, I have a checking account at KFC. Okay, I'm trying to have your file pulled up. Oh. What's the last four? What's the last four of your social security number? Oh, I can't give you that. I think it's uh, nine five one six, but I can't give you the whole thing. Of course, that that'd be crazy. I think it's nine five one six. Check your records. Oh, the last four, just the last four. Yeah. Asking, no, not your four. Right, nine five one six, Benjamin. Okay. I never want to give your whole social security number to anybody for any reason unless you're, uh, you know, going to get a loan out for a bank from the bank or something. That's a terrible idea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I know. Yeah. It says can't pull your file up. It it's says. Asking for the, it's asking for the first bite. Um, my bad. It, it did not ask for the last port. Hmm. It says the first bite. Oh. What, what do you mean, the credit card, my credit card number again? What do you want? No, the, um, it did not ask for the first, for the last four of your social security. It said the first five. Well, I already gave you the last four, though. You're not supposed to give anybody your, your social security number, Benjamin. All right, well, I'm just going to help. I'm just going to I'm sure you can find a way to bring me this $1.2 million without seeing my social security card. That's not a problem at all. So all you gotta do is just get the, get the check for $1.2 million and put it in your pocket and uh, drive down to Chicago and uh, just drop it off. And, and uh, you know what, I'll show you my social security yeah, number then, that'd be fine. It's going to be hand delivered by me and my team. Bird buy? I told you that you need you need to get your government stamp of approval before we can get the yeah. delivery dates scheduled yeah. for you. Yeah, you told me that we were good already though, and that you saw that I was an outstanding citizen, so obviously you know I'm the but real deal. Listen. What? Listen. I am I'm listening. listening. I'm gonna, what? Yes, I'm going to get I'm going to get in contact with the head of the department and see if we can get the transfer started. To your debit card. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that sounds fine. What bank? Listen. What bank? Did I you am say listening. That, what bank do you say that the card was with? West Wisconsin Credit Union. Yeah, they're the credit union that cares. And if you ever get a chance to go to one of their company picnics, you'll be just shocked and amazed. My God, they put beer in the dunk tank, and there's whole full wow. potato, like a whole table full of potato salad, iced, all iced down, every kind of potato salad you can think of, and all these little finger sandwiches and every kind of soda, and oh my God, they're wonderful. The Wisconsin Credit Union, the credit union that cares. No. Yeah. All right, so um, do you still have that paper there that I gave you earlier? You didn't, get, you didn't give me a paper? No, the paper that you were writing down the information. Oh, my on. paper, yeah, the pan and paper. I've got it, yeah, I got that right here. Okay, so um, I forgot to give you one, one last, one last, um, one, one security thing. One, I'm one, sure. one, one last security thing. What is it? I'm, I'm, at, um, I'm looking on it here. Okay. It's from the Federal Trade Commission. Okay. You are supposed to be provided with a security passcode. Well. I don't know if you are familiar with unscrupulous calls. Unscrupulous calls, very familiar. I have a YouTube channel where I put phone scammers up all the time. I get scam calls every day. I actually deal with people, lawyers at the FTC, once in a while. No kidding. Helping to get, you know, illegitimate companies shut down and things like that? Okay. Fraudulent the companies? Name of your channel? What? The name of your channel? What's the name of my channel? Yeah. Oh, what do you I think you better just find that out for yourself, Benjamin. You're probably gonna what? be the best video that I've put up. All, all in a long time because you're dumb as a stump, dude. You need to find so, another job. So, so what? So what? listen. What? I'm, I, I could be in there a very big fan. I'm, I'm a very big fan of that stuff. Sure you are. You like seeing yourself yeah. on YouTube acting like an idiot and trying to rob people? That's, that's perfect. No. This is perfect. I told you that this is 100% legitimate. What's your channel's name? 
What's you, yeah, you figure that out yourself. You're a phone scammer. Why don't you get a real job? Give me a real job. Give me your you job. You go out and get your own damn job, punky. What's the matter with you? <laughs> oh my God, people, I have not had a scam call like this in quite a while. This guy is absolutely off his rocker. No idea how tight. Oh, this guy has torqued down way, way over spec in some spots. Anyway, thanks very much again for watching.